are actually um, simulating what happens when electricity is not installed properly. What we have here, we have a male and a female plug. If you notice, a female plug does have a ground plug in it. The male, somebody actually cut it off. So therefore, the ground is your safety net. By not having a ground, your safety net is gone. So there's no safety net in this particular experiment that we're doing. So as you can see, when we plug it in, no ground. Which part is the ground? Can you point to that area? That's your ground, okay. and that's your ground right here. So that's supposed to have a ground plug. So what happens when you don't? Your ground is your safety net. Okay. So therefore, without a ground, you do not have, have a safety net. Now, that being said, what happens when we go through a puddle of water and the safety net is gone? Let's see what happens. This is a very typical scenario. We have a puddle of water, we have a damaged cord. You run that damaged cord through that water. Now, once we energize it, we, don't, we no longer, this green wire is your ground. So that ground, it's gone. We no longer have a ground. So your safety net, it's, it's gone. There's no safety net. So does that mean the electricity has to leak somewhere else? Exactly, yep. That's, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Electricity is always gonna take the path of the least, shortest path to ground. So if you do not have a ground, who becomes a ground? You do. Okay. So now we went ahead. Now that we, that safety mechanism is out of the equation, we actually wire a Christmas tree light. We actually simulated a short circuit. So let's see what's gonna happen when, um, when we plug it in, we energize the tree. Okay? Now we have a short and no ground. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is the results. What happens when we use faulty extension cords? <laughs> 